We're learning more tonight about gunfire that erupted at a funeral from the grandfather of a woman being laid to rest. He is now speaking out tonight, and so too are dozens of area ministers who are addressing violence in our city. That gunfire broke out at the Sutherland Cemetery, and that tonight is where we find our crime beat reporter Steve Jefferson. He has a message for all of us. Steve? <laughs> Yeah, during that gunfire, there were a lot of cars lined up along Millersville Road you see here. They were all on their way inside the cemetery you see here behind me. Three people hit by gunfire. The grandfather explained what he had to do to get to safety. And tonight, ministers in our city are inviting people here to the cemetery for a call of action against violence. But when I heard the initial pops, I thought it was firecrackers. Saddam Ali Tinenbe explained how everyone took cover when shots rang out at his granddaughter's funeral. There were little bitty babies out there, one and two years old, barely able to walk. And they was out there, and luckily the adult covered them up. The gunfire injured suspected gang leader Richard Grundy, 32-year-old Renee Fisher, and Barbara Wilson, 62. So far, police don't know why or who opened fire as family and friends paid final respects to murder victim Jasmine Moore. It is indeed heartbreaking. City County Councilor Stephen Clay and other pastors, almost 60 of them, met at this church Friday with law enforcement leaders for a call to action, saying this violence is just unacceptable. That the church community will have zero tolerance and will not provide safe harbor for individuals who wreak this kind of um, havoc, if you will, on our city. Like the havoc that happened during their meeting, officers rest here to Sheffield and West 10th Street. A man drove his brother from this scene to the hospital with a gunshot wound. Now, the ministers hope the same place where gunfire marred Jasmine's funeral will unify the city. In place of Bible class next Wednesday at 6.30, the ministers invite families in every church to meet at Sutherland Cemetery. The entire community. So we want mothers and grandmothers, fathers and sons, husbands and wives, because we want to pray generationally uh, for our children. Yeah, during our conversations with those ministers today and Jasmine's grandfather, we talked about what else they want to see happen after that shooting here. We'll have that for you coming up at 6 o'clock. Anne-Marie? All right, Steve Jefferson reporting live for us tonight. Thank you. Well, gang violence may be the reason for that shooting. IMPD has a criminal gang unit that investigates gang problems and gang crimes. Indiana State statute defines a criminal gang as a group with at least three members that require membership and commit felony crimes. There are no laws against becoming a member of a gang. In fact, gang membership protected by federal law, just like membership in something like the Boy Scouts. Only when the gang is of a criminal nature is it then considered illegal. 